Ine zina yanga, dine esnati umpuo. From Makunku Ward. Nimi ya pa chani pa mawuthi. Ine pai workshop hii. Na kondwe la chabi na ziba vintu bambidi. Na ziba kwa chani chi. Ma 5VW and 1H. Then na ziba kwa na 5V stages of design thinking. I workshop ya mene batu le tira ba triple AZ. Ya tupun sa vintu bambidi. Tuwa punzila vambidi, tuwa punzila pa participation, mtu wa mene urunga na kuchita pa speti, tuwa punzila vambidi, tuwa enda kukishosu accountability, tuwa punzila chewe vambidi, vya mene vizatu taenza mwomoyo watu. Especially mwonga wa mene nililine, I'm a disabled, so kambidi, we lack information, but information ya watu pasa ni ambidi, ya mene vizatu taendiza mwa communities mwa mene tukatu tapunzira vintu vambiri vosiana siana vamevi kambira pa CDF tapunzira vintu vamestenzo ziva tapunzira na vintu mwamene CDF vamene ye nikira kuyambira kutinga step by step tenzo ona chabe munga ili yonsi chabe problemu se ni bae mupi ili yonsi problemu ni bae mupi kasi ma problemu eno kia nikira kuyambira na wakansila vienda moda paka vienda vika kuri bandani kuri bandisi na kondo ya maningo ni kabela pa kukominiti yatu Nizaka wa uza hivi vintu because siwa viziba. Nizaka wa uza. So, nakondwa wa maningi pari programu hii. Ya AAZ. Information si zankara cha benai nineka, no. I will make sure I will take a step to my fellow youths. Nene kira kuenda kubapunzisa, vintu vamena punzila kuno. So, yati tonse, tizibe munga ma youths. Mwameteni kira kucha buwanji, mwameteni kira kucha participate muri i CDF na mwe mitenge kutia bwanji mwe mitenge kupunzisa bantu kozi bantu there they are just sitting there doing nothing because it's about very fancy bena ngwi vin this letters CDF so is what you mean tenda so i think after i workshop zapiza kwamba kuti bantu pasa knowledge according monga lay out ya workshop bantu pasa knowledge ya metu zapeleka kwa mene tulili especially also kubanzanga ma disabled kwa mene baka nguwa kufika kuna because ine baka nipasa knowledge it means wapasa knowledge ya bantu maybe bali hundred because na ine nunga na kuenda kupunisa banzanga even ma problems ya mene ali ma communities tuzamba kuchita identify the ma community na upeza na solution also na kutekinga ma community action where necessary if kuti bantu wa mene tupele kila haya ma ma problems za atu sivatu chita attend first Also, to some of us, I'm sure that we have a problem with it. We problem with it. We we solving. We are not going to solve it individually. We are going to have to move to more zero-bavini. Ah, to some of us, it's a community. We are going to have more zero. We are going to identify problem. We are going to have a community. We are going to have people who are civic, who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers. We are going to have people who are civic readers four days training program and we organized this training to build the capacity of young people in Itezi Itezi. Um, not just the young people but um, the local participants, the WDC members and members of the local councils. So the training um, has a training manual that teaches them on social accountability, on uh, identifying issues that they have in their various communities, human rights, community action, and a lot of other modules that are meant to help people of the communities in terms of being active citizens and participating in, in the various governance issues that happen in their communities. And our expectation is that post the training, they will use this information to question their duty bearers because we know the CDF that's been incorporated in, in the decentralization and uh, the CDF is supposed to help develop these communities and the communities cannot develop if the people do not know how they can access this CDF 
or how they can make use of it. So our expectation is that following this training, the demand for CDF and resources becomes higher so that the local authorities can then help their communities. I think it's also important to mention that we as facilitators uh, also work out with information at the end of the day. It's not just about us feeding them the information, but there's a lot that we learn from the participants themselves. So that interaction and exchange of knowledge and information is very cardinal for the decentralization process. And to the participants, I think it is something that is an eye opener. I think this uh, will make an impact because we have been talking about it from within, but now that we have people coming from outside, I'm sure and we are hoping that uh, we will have uh, better plans coming up, we will have uh, but, uh, better ways of uh, engaging with them because of the capacity that you have given them. So we are so grateful. This will really, really, you know, it's a plus for, for us as a district. I want to welcome you to this important project launch because this is not only a meeting but we are launching this project for the first time in Itestesi and this project is entitled Digital Democracy Project. Just as it has been alluded to ladies and gentlemen, this meeting is being organized by AZ, a youth-led organization. As a member of parliament myself under uh, the new board government which is led by Local president, President Manal popular known as Bari. We strongly recognize you and the governance structures in implementing government programs that promote good governance and that stimulate active participation. A woman, a disabled man, a poor youth, today he has a voice to determine what he wants. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm told this project will focus on enhancing the participation of citizens yourselves in the decentralization process, particularly in the administration of the Constituency Development Fund. Triple AZ wants to enhance capacity building and the participation of you in your money, because this is your money. This is not the money for the member of parliament, the money for the president or for the council chairperson or the council, this is your money. But if we have this money and you don't participate, this money will not serve the purpose that the European government and the president wants it to get.